I cannot believe that a for sale by owner took advantage of me like this. I mean, I get a phone call. Hey, come on out. I need you to take a look at my property. I want to know how much it's worth. I want to list it. I want to sell it. It's been the family forever. My father grew up here. I want to sell it. When can you meet? Ah, okay. My son's basketball game goes till three. Let's do it right after. I'll come on over. Drive over there. Go on. I, you know, I bring everything I need to. House is in shambles. It needs a lot of work. As soon as I'm driving up, though, I see a for sale by owner sign. I'm going, hmm, that's interesting. So you've been trying to sell this home and now you need me to sell it. You didn't do any marketing. So I got you there. Just list with me. Let's go. Get a phone call about, well, I call them like five days later. Hey, uh, what's up? Like, like, let's do this thing. Oh, we got an offer and we're going to take it. Um, thank you. We'll let you know if anything changes. And I'm thinking in my mind, you just wanted me to make sure that that low ball offer that you got was actually worth it and you weren't leaving money on the table so you had me come on out leave my son's basketball game come on out you know give you my opinion on what you could sell it for and how much we could sell it for just so that offer you got you weren't leaving money on the table i see what you did there and it's not cool can't believe people do that now of course they could have gotten an offer within those five days that we weren't talking i get it but they didn't they were just, you know, had a sign in the yard for all the neighbors to see. They were not online at all. 